You don't need to actually eat garlic to taste it. If you rub a clove of garlic on your feet, you'll taste it within 15 minutes. There's no explanation, but it actually works, though it might be a placebo effect. Lemons get juicier if you warm them up in a microwave oven. When the fruit is warmed, the heat softens the membranes so the juice can flow more freely. You might have never heard about the keppel fruit, but it has a superpower of making your sweat smell like violets. The first vegetable grown in space was a potato. NASA grew five small potatoes from tubers. If we ever start space traveling, we'll probably try some space french fries. Watermelons, tomatoes, and celery are basically water. We all know this. Potatoes, though, are pretty watery too. 80% water. Technically, you can squeeze some potato juice or a smoothie, but yeah, it's better to roast them. The water that potatoes have help them absorb and reflect Wi-Fi and radio signals, just like humans do. Oranges aren't necessarily orange. If grown in subtropical regions, the climate there isn't cold enough to break down the chlorophyll, so the fruit peel stays yellow or greenish. Such oranges usually get treated with ethylene gas to help them turn orange. You should drop cranberries to see if they're tasty. These berries bounce because of tiny air pockets inside. This air lets them bounce and float. The higher the berries bounce, the better they are. Many dogs love veggies, cauliflower, cucumbers. Mine eats carrots. But please don't treat your little friend to grapes. Dogs are completely intolerant to it. If you prefer beef over pumpkin seeds, you'll deprive yourself of some protein. In fact, pumpkin seeds and broccoli have more protein per calorie than any meat. Almonds are often mistaken for a nut. A nut should be dry, yet almonds have a fruity layer. While growing in a tree, they look like a peach. You open the fruity layer to find the seed to eat. Your morning coffee is actually stewed fruit. Coffee beans are a berry pit, so it's basically a drink made of berries. If an onion was grown in a sulfur-poor soil, its taste will be sweet and you won't shed a tear while cooking. If the soil is rich in sulfur, make sure there's a Kleenex box for you. When cutting an onion, rinse the knife with cold water to make your cooking tearless. You can also try chilling the onion. The cells will react slower, and you'll cry less. There are two types of baby carrots. The first are veggies picked before they reach maturity. The second are trimmed adult carrots. This is just a marketing trick to convert carrots that have no market value into a product that can be actually sold. There are no calorie-negative veggies. Some people claim that eating lettuce, kale, and celery requires more energy than they give. These veggies still have up to 10 calories per stack, which is little, but the digesting requires about a half a calorie. If you ever read a cool fact about the skin of a cucumber being used as an eraser, don't fall for it. I tried it and it kind of ruined my notebook. When you eat a lollipop, you actually just swallowed some flavored saliva. Ooh. The world's largest lollipop weighed over 7,000 pounds. That would require a lot of saliva. OK, time for a little riddle. What do peanut butter and an engagement ring have in common? Both contain diamonds. Scientists learned how to turn peanut butter into diamonds. They extracted the oxygen from the carbon dioxide. With the remaining carbon, they put it under intense pressure. It formed diamonds in the end. When you buy grated cheese, get ready for a surprise. If the package says it contains cellulose, it means the cheese contains wood pulp. Eh, don't worry, it's digestible. It's added to prevent the cheese from clumping. If you grab some wasabi in a supermarket, you probably bought mere horseradish. True wasabi is quite difficult to make, so it's usually replaced with horseradish and some extra flavorings and colorants. We're used to ranch dressing being white, but in reality, producers usually add titanium oxide to make it as white as your sunscreen. Oh, sunscreen producers add some titanium oxide to their products too. Same with Caesar and blue cheese dressings. Your favorite fruit candies may be shining because they're covered with carnauba wax. Many fruits, especially apples, have a thin layer of this wax too. Not only can it make the candies and fruit appear glossy, but it also makes your car shine. P. 
Peaches and nectarines seem different, but in fact they're pretty much the same fruit. If the fluffiness gene is dominant, we get peaches. If not, we get smooth nectarines. Apples taste better when they're sliced because they're exposed to oxygen. It activates the enzyme called polyphenol oxidase, responsible for ripening and visible browning. The same thing happens when you hit an apple. The oxygen enters the apple through tiny cracks, and it starts to ripen. Are you into white chocolate? Well, it's actually not even close to real chocolate. It's basically a mixture of sugar, milk, vanilla, and cocoa butter. Cocoa butter isn't enough for chocolate. It should contain chocolate liqueur or powder. Limes and lemons are quite different. Lemons float, but limes sink. It's all because limes are denser than lemons. 200 years ago, ketchup was used as a medicine. Doctors used to believe tomatoes had a lot of medicinal properties, and therefore so did ketchup. Chipotle peppers aren't some special type of pepper. They're good old jalapenos. Dried and smoked jalapeno is chipotle. A double-stuffed Oreo cookie. They aren't double-stuffed, in fact. A math teacher weighed 10 regular Oreos, 10 double-stuffed Oreos, 10 mega-stuffed Oreos. Turns out, double-stuffed Oreos are only 1.86 stuffed Oreos. The only product that never expires, even if you don't store it in the fridge, is honey. It has low pH and lots of sugar. That's why organisms that cause spoiling can't live in honey. Those Skittles and M&M candies are colored with beetles. Red food dye is made of carmine, which is made with cochineal beetles. Red lipsticks are made with these beetles, too. Allspice isn't a mix of seasonings as you may think. It does smell somewhat like nutmeg, cinnamon, and cloves, but it's actually an independent fruit. It's also called Jamaican pepper and is picked from the trees, just like cherries. Jam and jelly seem basically the same thing, but there's a huge difference between them. Jam is made of fruit, while jelly is made of fruit juice. The expiration date on mineral water isn't about the water going bad. Actually, no water can go bad, but the bottle can. Over time, it starts leaking some chemicals that aren't quite safe. White sugar is no different from brown sugar. The only difference is that brown sugar contains molasses. Molasses is the dark, syrupy byproduct you get when you extract sugars from beets or canes. Tonic water can be fluorescent in UV black light. It contains quinine, which makes it both bitter and glowing. The color of plates and cup can affect your food perception. A group of volunteers drank hot chocolate out of different colored cups, but most people claim the orange cup hot chocolate was the best. Red plates are cool for those on a diet. It looks alarming, so you end up eating less. Crackers are even more hazardous to your teeth than sugar. It's not sugar, but acid that decays the tooth enamel. Sticky crackers produce that acid. It's a good environment for bacteria. They're gonna feast between your teeth. Strawberries and raspberries technically aren't berries. These guys have their seeds on the outside. A true berry keeps them inside. Grapes, tomatoes, cucumbers, eggplants, even bananas are berries. I said bananas were a berry, but eh, that's only partly true. It's actually a berry that grows on an herb. If you want to ripen a banana fast, just throw it in a plastic bag with an apple or tomato. These two produce ethylene gas, which helps ripen other fruit. We all know the apples we buy in the supermarket aren't freshly picked. Before they get to the supermarket, they can sleep for 6 to 12 months and stay as good as new. Watermelons can be boys or girls. Boys are taller and they have more water inside. Girls appear shorter and rounder. They're also sweeter. Farm-raised salmon are actually white. To make them look like their wild brethren that are naturally pink because of the abundant shrimp in their diet, farm-raised salmons are artificially dyed. In fact, there's a story floating around for decades about a cannery stuck with a bunch of unsellable white salmon. So they turn this handicap around by boldly labeling their product as guaranteed not to turn pink in the can. Hey, maybe that would work with the fake wasabi. <laughs>